This one is Edelweiss. I didn't know about this until a few years ago. I don't know about this. Beverly Hills. Uh That's where I want to eat. Candy, 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 chocolate in Beverly Hills. (laughs) I told you I'm a star. God damn it. Go ahead. What's this place called again? Edelweiss. German. No, no, no. Shut up. This place opened in 1942 as Candy Roundup by a woman named Grace Young. It was and still is located at 444 North Cannon Drive in the throbbing gilded heart of Beverly Hills. It's right by Rodeo Drive. It's in that general area. Oh, okay. So I'll never go there. Yeah. It's uh, the sort of place that you pretend that you're a part of, but you're really a fair folk. Uh, I go there all the time, okay? (laughs) I'm there. That's my county fair, Uh, Rodeo Drive. Candy Bites. I go there all the time. (laughs) I have some deep fried Gucci. (laughs) So because of that at Beverly Hills location, it quickly became a place for our old friends, the rich and the famous, to get their chocolates and candies. I hope that they're still eating candy. hope that they get theirs. I hope that children in Russia eat candy. One of the most popular items here were her marshmallows. So they were so popular that she would only make them when the store was closed so that nobody could see what she was doing wow. and steal her recipe. The secret ingredient was people. Her, <laughs> her, big, her biggest contribution to the world of candy is that Mrs. Young is credited with inventing the chocolate-covered marshmallow right in this store. Really? Really? In Beverly That's an Hills. Thing. Yeah. So, but eventually, after 31 years in business, Mrs. Young had to go off to become a marshmallow herself, and she <laughs> retired. And in 1973, she sold the shop to a Swiss man named Herman Schmidt. And being the Swiss man that he was, he changed the crassly American name of Candy Roundup to the National Flower of Switzerland, Edelweiss. Okay. The Edelweiss. They, okay, they have candy flowers in Switzerland. He also changed the chocolate provider to a company in Switzerland, so now the store is working with authentic Swiss chocolate. So Authentic what? Swiss chocolate of Los Angeles. Yeah, neutral. A few other innovations Smith brought in was something called Tostas, which are ground almonds and honey mixed with chocolate, which oh. are nowhere near as popular as something he kind of made the store famous for all over, which is their chocolate-covered pretzels. Oh, yeah. These are extremely popular, and they're shipped all over the world, and I've had them personally. They're very good. This is an endorsement. Oh, I got paid by them. I, no. I forgot to tell you, you're not getting any. I met them at the fair. I want it more than you ate it. it, it they're really good. They come in a big red box. Ooh, very primo. nice. Melissa's old boss got them for her, so Ooh. I ate them. <laughs> what I can't vouch for, though, is that supposedly these were the first chocolate-covered pretzels ever made, and Schmidt invented them right in the shop also. That's what they claim. I don't know about that. I feel like I could have come up with chocolate-covered pretzels, and if I could have come up with the idea, that means that it's like centuries old. Well, it's easy to come up with an idea that you've had a million times and uh i mean looking at the scale you're standing on right now i'd say you've had a million times chocolate pretzels <laughs> you're calling me fat yeah you're, you're, i don't know you're i was saying, going one direction i decided to call you fat <laughs> <laughs> you're you fat shaming me and you're saying that my shirt doesn't fit right hey uh you're gonna let go of that candy barrel you're carrying around oh it's your chest oh it's your uh, chest and body don't you want to take off your front backpack <laughs> no. so regardless like i said this was the place for celebrities to get their candy at edelweiss frank sinatra loved the maple creams Catherine That's hepburn he liked them his way yeah. <laughs> with maple Catherine hepburn wrote about the dark chocolate turtles in her autobiography lauren bacall loved it there the reagans kirk douglas steven spielberg elton john madonna and oprah winfrey the movie and tv studios themselves are big customers they said that you know you've made it in hollywood when you receive so many chocolates from edelweiss that they note your favorites in their rolodex mm. one princess from saudi arabia she dressed like a princess for halloween from saudi arabia <laughs> she came to the store to pick out chocolates for her wedding to bring back to saudi arabia wow. eventually schmidt also had to be turned into a marshmallow and he sold the store to the rosen family who owned it for 15 years before being turned into marshmallows themselves and put the store up for sale in 1997 when a not-so-young couple of the mother from the Partridge family, oh, Shirley Jones, Shirley Jones, and her husband, Marty Ingalls, whose best credit I could find was that he played Pac-Man in the Hanna-Barbera animated Pac-Man series. I didn't. You could brag about that because I didn't get to play Pac-Man in the animated series. Then you haven't made it in Hollywood. So they walked by the store one day. Shirley mentioned to Marty that she loved the chocolates from there. So as a Valentine's gift, that year he bought her the entire store wow eat it all (laughs) pound by pound eat it all in front of me they only owned it for a while before selling to madeline zahir in the early 2000s who now runs the place they now have a secondary location at the brentwood country mart but this beverly hills one is still the main location and it's where all the chocolates are made kitchen's going from eight to four every work day and it's still all handmade and nothing is ever frozen all of the machines are still the original machines that mrs young used when she first opened the store i want to go to there you can't even afford the parking hey Oh, bye! Bye!
job, Dad! Yeah! Get a real job! <laughs> the front of the shop is still the same as it was in 1942. They're the second oldest store in Beverly Hills and one of the oldest candy shops in the United States to still be doing this all by hand. They now sell 85 different chocolates and candies, including nine types of marshmallows, seven of which are still Mrs. Young's recipe that they keep locked in a vault. Get ready to salivate. Chocolate covered vanilla, coconut, caramel, toffee, mocha, mint, and walnut. And then the two new flavors are s'mores and peanut butter. Oh, s'mores, mint, s'mores. Not s'mores, mint. You can buy two mints. You can put them together, but not on the premises. They don't want to see that. Aside from all the chocolate they make, which is necessary, probably the most important contribution the store has made to the world came when another certain celebrity customer who loved the store came in one day. She parked in the back, came in through the kitchen to avoid paparazzi, and one day she noticed the machinery and got an idea for an episode of her show. What if a crazy loon like me tried to make chocolates on a thing like this? Get she out. wackily said Stop to herself. That. that woman, Lucille Ball, in yeah. Edelweiss's kitchen is where she got the idea for the Chocolate Factory episode wow. of I Love Lucy. The machine that inspired her is still there today and being used. It's the chocolate in Rober. 